Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. No, nothing's broken. I was just playing with you there. Things can be so much faster if you have the right hardware, you know, and you've got a bottleneck in your system. Everybody does. There's always going to be a slow component, and that component is most likely your hard drive, and you can't get rid of it. I mean, your data's got to sit somewhere. Your operating system's got to sit somewhere, likely sitting on your hard drive, unless, of course, you have an SSD, or is it a SSD, a solid state drive, you know, something that doesn't have any moving parts, and it's fast. You might remember a few weeks ago when I demonstrated Samsung's SSD, one of their latest. Uh, of course, I have posted the videos to youtube.com slash lockernome and, of course, my blog, chris.perlo.com. And many of you went out and got your own going through coupons.lockernome.com or any of the coupons that we had posted on chris.perlo.com. Thank you, by the way, for the referral. Uh, things have been so fast. Oh, everything that uh, I've used has just seen a speed increase. Even if it was a small speed increase, it was certainly noticeable, especially the applications that rely on a lot of data. Like my instant messaging app is constantly logging. Um, it's fast now. The response is so fast, like blindingly so. I, I can't really even benchmark how much faster it's been to live on an SSD compared to what life was like on an HDD, a traditional hard drive. So, uh, many of you also asked, well, how is game performance? Is it better? Well, of course, because when you copy your uh, game or game data over to your drive, whether it's an SSD or an HDD, you know that it's going to have to read. And, of course, the faster read time, well, the more responsive the game's going to be. So, yes, the answer is game response is good to great to phenomenal i mean think about it when you're gaming you don't want to be taken out of the action you want to keep rolling right so get an ssd that's the bottom line okay you don't believe me fine we're going to demonstrate it here with need for speed carbon ironic okay maybe i i kind of planned it because i had to go and buy this game it's on a dvd copied five gigs of data over to the ssd the samsung ssd that i have installed here on mac os 10 we're going to go ahead and launch it in fact the only um, speed deficiencies I've discovered have largely been related to the fact that I have to keep the DVD in the drive. It's not just, uh, it's reading, of course, from the SSD, the solid state disk. Remember, go.tagjag.com slash SSD. I've, uh, of course, popped open a, uh, uh, a spotlight search instantaneous. I can expect nothing less or nothing more. So we're, we're going to have to uh, launch that here. And, whoa, that was fast. Oh, I thought it was fast. So now it's reading from the disc, the uh, DVD. Yeah, yeah. Okay, loading. Now it's, ooh, it's version 1.4 apparently. Oh, click to continue. This is a, this is a relatively new game. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with a, should we just go with a quick race? Let's just do that. All right, let's go with that. Uh, we better go with an easy race. Uh, let's see here. Which one do we want? I like this one. The exotic tier three. Manual or automatic? Automatic. Uh, I can only have one crew member, apparently. So this is it. Hit enter. Loading. So remember, it's loading from a five gigabyte app on the SSD, You're ready, in seconds. Of course, now I'm in the game.
I'm going to stop it now before I uh, get my clock cleaned, as is prone to happen when I do any kind of gaming. But it's fast. I mean, not just the game itself, but the fact that, again, it had to read the data from my SSD, the solid state drive installed in the computer. And normally it could take twice, three times, four times on up as long. My CPU is not the bottleneck. I got plenty of memory. It's usually where the data is sitting, where it's reading it from. And that happens to be on the SSD. Now, if you have Need for Speed Carbon, you would likely attest that it loaded much faster on this computer. It wasn't the CPU, wasn't the memory. It was the fact that I was reading the data, or I guess the system was reading the data, from the SSD, the solid state drive. No moving parts versus a traditional hard drive that does have moving parts. The future, who knows? But the present is fast. And I gotta again thank Samsung for passing along this piece of hardware that has certainly made my life so much better. You know, when you remove a huge bottleneck, it's just like, uh, well, it's like cleaning your glasses. You can suddenly see straight, you know, or at least see things more clearly. It's kind of like that. Things just open up to you. Things that were once slow are suddenly not so slow anymore. I mean, applications run faster. Games run faster. Certainly faster than... I would have expected them to go. So uh, maybe you've got uh, a game that you'd like me to take a look at here on uh, this system with an SSD, or maybe you've done your own testing on the SSD that you have installed in your system. If you don't, remember I've got coupons for you, coupons.lockernome.com, anywhere you want to buy it, whatever drive uh, you want to pick up, I mean, any kind of hardware, software, whatever. Uh, of course, you can email me, chris at perillo.com if you have further questions. I might pass you along to the community of tech experts at geeks.perillo.com. Of course, we also have this chat room here. They uh, never really um, do much except chat because that's what people do in a chat room. But we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.